Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and Noob Gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Menings. And in today's video, we're back on the cargo hauling run. It's still currently Invictus, and we're on day three, I think, at the moment, with, or maybe even coming up to day four, with the, um, I think it's the Iaegis, uh, things like the Hammerhead and that available. But I, again, I'm not really going to go over there. I've flown most of the ships. So I'm just going to carry on with the cargo running. And I was asked um, in one of my recent videos about doing a cargo run for um, if I could do a video and looking at the commodity changes, prices and stuff like that. So I thought I could kill two birds with one stone in this video. And what I'm going to do is while it's Invictus, I'm going to do the commodities cargo running, but I'm going to show it the extra stuff that you can get with the com with the commodities while Invictus is running. So you can get things like helium party favors, souvenirs and TV and audio equipment. So I'm going to show that stuff as well, basically. So we hope you like this video, guys. If you do like this video, don't forget to take that punch and tickle the like button. And don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe uh, for more videos, as always. And I want to just also give a big shout out to Crotchrot, who just joined our membership on YouTube in the last day or so. When I created this video, I was creating this video, um, the Crotchrot hadn't become a member at that point. So you'll see me mention the memberships and stuff like that in a minute. And when I show the screen on it, um, the Crotchrot's not included in that because the, the membership came after I created the, the footage. Uh, so I just thought I'd give that shout out here and just thank you, um, goes to Crotchrot and it really means a lot that you became a member and um, loving that. Thank you very much. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in ca um, chapters uh, for the video. I'm about to go into a little bit of a spiel um, about uh, some things I want to get off my chest. And it might take a couple of minutes. So I'm going to put in chapters. So if you want to jump straight to the video where I'm starting to do the work, you can do that in the bottom of the, the screen at the moment. You should see like the, the videos cut up or in the description, you'll see the, the chapters. So let me get into this. So firstly... I want to um, talk about the, the run I'm doing. So the run I'm doing, you'll see there's, we're currently on Victus and there is bugs and you'll see some sometimes the um, I'll lose money myself and you'll see the cargo loading into the freight or maybe that I'd end up losing the cargo at the other end or something like that. There is bugs in the game. And I just wanted to point that out. We are in, in Invictus and the servers are a mess at the moment. So just take this as advice and um, also entertainment value definitely put your comments in the comment section about your your um, areas that you're getting and stuff like that and and you might find that one of us have a, a workaround or something like that like with this where we finally realized you had to wait for your cargo to load in before you could leave um so for definitely yeah um put your comments in the comment section but please guys don't hold me responsible for losses. I don't control the stocks and I don't control the servers crashing and stuff like that. And I, I do get some um, hate comments from, from people sort of almost holding me responsible. I'm doing a video on cargo running and they lose the money and then they sort of hold me responsible for it. It's not my fault if the servers crash and it's not my fault if the stocks are low. I can only show you what I'm doing at the time I'm doing it. Uh, what happens after that is not on me, guys. So please don't hold me responsible for that and do buy the cargo on stock um, at your own risk and, and knowing that the server can crash and maybe wait until there is more stable servers. Uh, but the information I'm going to give you is still good information for commodity running and stuff like that when these events are on. So that over, I also want to go over to my um, YouTube channel. Guys over at, you guys over at YouTube have been doing absolutely amazing. The comments and stuff like that, that I've been getting from you guys. I love waking up in the morning, reading the comments, telling me how you like the videos and you're glad you found the channel and stuff like that. It's absolutely amazing to read these comments from you guys. And I just wanted to sort of show my appreciation to you guys about that. I am so happy that some of you guys have found the channel and, and you're absolutely loving it. We have been had the channel now for around... 11 months and we are currently hitting we've just currently hit over half a million views 
And you can see that we joined in 24th of June 2022. We've hit half a million views and we're on 2.83, coming up to 3,000 sub subscriptions in the year. So we can't thank you guys enough and everybody that leaves a comment and put a thumbs up or even a thumbs down and and just engages in the 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 comment in the comment section and the videos and just actually clicking play on a video and watching it absolutely love that you guys are engaging in that and and it makes this all worthwhile i went out and bought a pc specifically for star citizen and thought oh well i could put up some videos as well i never in my wildest dreams thought we'd be hitting half a million views in less than a year and almost 3,000 subscribers so i absolutely love that we're at this point now guys and and that you guys have done this for us and so you keep on doing that guys keep putting them thumbs up and, and subscribing and and engaging in the, the the content and suggestions for content you want us to do and i, I love reading the comments and, and try and reply to everybody as, as much as i can i'm a very humble person and love the interactions that i'm getting from you guys on here that being said, we also do have this the join button here and um, you'll see that um, we do have five members currently and that is Mark Bauer, Anna Marie, Leo, Biggest Dickers and Scorm. And a couple of these have got in, in written their third month, one is it in his second month and one's just started. And you can see there just for a small, for a small fee, you can support us more and help with the the funding of the channel as well and you can get or you can go all, all the way up to a, a 44 one where you'll get a t-shirt as well as some some extra things like that like shout outs in videos and stuff like that and these emojis and badges and stuff like that i'm putting that up there just so you guys can see it because i've had a few comments from people asking me where the join is how do you become a member a paid member on the channel and that's basically it the join button should be on here if it's not on here it's in the comment section of the videos under under affiliate and you can click the link there and hit the join for a small fee like i said um 2.99 a month or 4.99 a month or even a bigger one if if, if you so wish uh, but i thought i'd point that out just so you guys know it's there and anybody that does want to help out the channel further just letting you know that's there and then there is a member section i don't post a lot in this at the moment because we haven't got a lot of members I say we've only got about five at the moment. So I'm just showing you that that's available if you do want to help out the, the channel further. But just you guys watching videos and stuff like that is an absolute uh, amazing to me and can't believe that I'm actually at this point where I'm at to have over half a million views. So that's that little bit done. And what I'm going to also do is I'm going to talk about something else, which is the community. The community that we've grown now on YouTube has now traveled over to um, this card. So I just want a big, a big shout out to Jackie Boy, my son, who's just started, he's just in his first year of college and he's doing IT and he's he's got me onto this card. And at first he, he didn't really, I, well, I didn't really want to know this card. I didn't, I just thought, well, I don't, it's, it's new to me. It's a newfangled thing and wasn't really too bothered about it and so basically i didn't um i didn't care about about this card and stuff like that for me it was more about it's a place for me and kiltanis to when we're playing the game we can chat and then jackie boy suggested making the server for us this uh, noobs official server for us and and i said okay yeah okay let's do it and then he made me do things like uh, chatting with people and and stuff like that and so it got me talking to people on the chat rooms and over that time we've built so much of a community now and um, so basically he made me do some some like events where i would talk to people i'm a quite i'm quite an introvert and don't like really engaging a lot with people and and but i had to show my thanks to people for, for joining the channel and stuff like that and that's pushed me then into actually coming on to this card a lot more now i wake up every morning and go and look at this card so anybody that is in into looking at the org gameplay like i used to look at citizen k and be like oh, i'd love to do all the big org sort of stuff jump on our discord links are in the description become a member make sure you respond to the questions and get the the star citizen uh, role if not i'll end up giving you it at some point 
And you'll see these channels here, like the, the Star Citizen channels here. Once you see them, you can see in the in the open rooms like here, Rico's in this open chat room, people will just come and sit in these chat rooms and you can just jump in and join them. We do have some people that are quite nervous and don't like to um, uh, talk, but if you just still jump in and, and, and let people know you're there and say hello, they'll they invite you into the games. You don't have to chat with them, but you can just listen in and stuff like that. And I highly recommended it, like I said, I'm I'm an introvert and didn't really like doing that, but now I wake up every day, I'm jumping on, I'll jump on and chat to people in these chat rooms. Sometimes there could be 10 people in here all doing some org type of play in the game where we go like salvaging and stuff like that. So definitely jump in, join the channel and um, jump into these open chats. We've got about 144 members now and everybody's really nice. I'm absolutely proud of the people in the Discord server and what they do and there's loads of times that people will send money to each other and help each other out buying ships and stuff like that or letting people fly the ships and doing missions with them and so we have a, a lot of regulars that jump in here and so i want to just shout out to them and that is peeper dark soul mar bauer bakar nl rico prop um tiddles ultra uh, atlantic um there's Ultralix as well, Atlantic, Xamere, uh, Noobs Gaming ZA, and um, I'll probably end up missing some uh, people, Wizard Sleeve or DJ. Um, if I did miss anybody, I'm sorry, it's not like I'm, you know, purposely missing them. <laughs> uh, just that there's so many that come in and, and are quite regular. And, uh, and I know them by voice now, so um, absolutely love ha having these guys on here and talking to them. So if I missed your name, I'm, I'm sorry, um, no, no disrespect, I love you all the same. Um, but but yeah, jump in, you'll see these guys in these chats, jump in and say hello and, and join in the gameplay with them if you can. And you, you will absolutely love it. You will absolutely love it. Oh, Last was the other one. Last Neptune is another one. So jump into that. I'm absolutely proud of this and growing this membership, uh, this, this Discord up. And then also go to the RSI and join the org which is called Noobs Gaming and, and we'll do a lot of, of, of org play. And so like I said, Jackie Boy set this up for me and got me involved with this thing. And we want to thank everybody on here that has done a server boost because it allows us to do bigger, um, uh, bigger, bigger file uploads and uh, better quality streams and stuff like that. And that's all thanks to the server boost that these guys do. You'll see there's, there's probably server boost people here that have server boost. And so they get special badges. And uh, if you're a YouTuber, you get special badges and event planners and stuff like that. So we have all these special badges for people. And um, we want to thank those people for that, for that, uh, helping that out. But also, like I said, because Jackie Boy has done this, he, he does this by himself. And he has had a couple of people help him. Like I think he's brought two people on board to help him now. He is doing it himself. So I thought I'd also announce like he has this subscription page here. And if you click the subscription page, yeah, we'll go to that. You'll see as so, similar to the, um, let me go back. It's similar to the, um, let me go back to that, this card. Similar to the um, YouTube where you have your three memberships here. And so you've got your basic support, uh, you've got your, your your Discord support, and then you've got your ultimate support again where you get the T-shirt. And then you get some server boosts and stuff like that. So if you do want to help out further, the proceeds of any of this goes to Jackie Boy himself. I don't take any of this from him. It's his own income. And so anybody that does become a subscriber on it and gets these these boosts, uh, we thank you from the bottom of my hearts and, and that really does help out Jackie Boy as well. So I thought I'd just get all that out of the way. I know it's been like 10 minutes, 15 minutes or something of this spiel and I did put in the chapters for you guys to be able to jump it if you don't want to. But I'm very passionate about what I'm doing and the people that I play with on online and the, the help that these guys are giving me and just the channel itself and all you guys that are watching. I absolutely love every single one of you guys for, for being a part of this journey and, and pushing us forward. And I just wanted to get that off my chest that I do appreciate everybody that, that hits the, the like button or watches a video or leaves a comment. I appreciate everybody and everybody in the Discord that we play with. So I thought I'd just get that out of the, um, out of the way and just, you know, uh, just speak about that because I wanted to show my appreciation. I am very, very appreciative of, of the people around me. 
So yeah, so that all out of the way, I thank everybody that did stay and listen to that. It does mean a lot to me. And what I'm going to do is we're going to start getting into this now and jump on to the uh, cargo running. Let's do it. It is currently the Invictus week. So I'm not going to do what everybody else is doing and go down to Invictus and go and um, have a look around. I, I did that in 319 on the first day and there's nothing really I want to see apart from the Fury, maybe rent out the Fury, but I can do that at the end of Invictus when all of them are back for the, sh uh, the final showing. Um, so I'm just going to do some cargo work today and what it's like to do cargo work when there's a show on like Invictus um, or any of them events like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on that. So we hope you like this video, guys. If you do like this video, don't forget to take that point and tickle that like button for us. And don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them. And don't forget to uh, check out the description for the Discord link and for the org link. And if you want to help us out further, there's a join button uh, in the description or a link to join the YouTube, YouTube membership. And uh, for a small fee, you can help us out monthly uh, to keep um, creating videos for you guys. And you get badges and, and some um, good goodies like that. And so, yeah, so we all like this one, guys. And um, the code dropping down currently, if you use that code currently in this week while Invictus is on, you can go over to RSI website. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. You can actually create an account for free and then you can use um, download the game for free and, and they'll give you a couple of ships to play for. The shuttle is preparing to, uh, to play with, should I say. So um, head over to the uh, RSI site and... Um, you can download the game for free using my code that's just dropped down and it's in the description as well and you can uh, play for free. And all those people that have already created accounts, you should be able to do uh, download the game again if you haven't already bought the game uh, from the last event that we had. So, spiel over, let's uh, get into this. So what I'm going to be looking at is, if I go to here, when we have Invictus on or, or some sort of show event, we have other commodities that we can look at. And so if I go over to the journal here, and you'll see, we've got Helium, we've got Party Favours, we've got Souvenirs, we've got Audio and Visual Equipment, and uh, Construction Materials. So, these new ones, like the Construction Materials, and the Audio Visual Equipment, and the Souvenirs, and the Party Favours, that's all because of what's going on over at Lawville. So, uh, with Invictus. So what we can do is, say like the TV and, uh, equipment here, they need all this lot for the Lawville stuff, so if we head over to New Babbage, we can pick up the overstock of audiovisual equipment and then take it over to Lawville. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to head over, I'm going to grab my Max. I know it's not like the 500 nod that you can get with something like AC2, but what I, what I can do is I'll go and get the audiovisual equipment first, then I'll head over to Lawville, drop it off, pick up a C2 by renting it um, at the Invictus, and then I'll go and fill that one up basically. Or do what I can with that one. So that's what I'm going to do. So what you'll see next is me um, going into New Babbage and getting the audio equipment and stuff like that. So that's where I'll meet you guys. Here we are at New Babbage. Quick check on here again, just have a look at this audio, visual equipment in the commodities list. So we've got the helium, that's going to bring about, not a lot, about ooh, 0.4, something like that. Party favours, I can't say what that's going to bring because I can't see what they'll sell it for. The souvenirs, overstock, uh, Larville. And then we've got the audio visual. With the audio visual, we're going to make about five ish AUEC per, per item. And I'm not sure about construction materials. We'll check that out when we go over to the other place. So let's keep going. So, what I'm going to do is I do actually need to fuel. So, there's the what's it called over there? the thing for landing but what I need to do is check down here first so you might see just below me I'll try and get my pointer there you see where that arrow just came up there there's like a few domes down here 
where the star lifter is. So he could be doing the same thing I'm doing. And I'm going to try and land. There's a landing pad there. So you don't have to land over there. But I'm not too sure if I can fuel. If I can't fuel, then I'll have to go over there and land. But I'm going to try and land on this base, this, this pad here, and then go in the dome here, which is easier then to... You don't have to go through the train system and all that. So there's a C2 down there. Somebody might have the same idea. Try and get this equipment, audio equipment. I don't have a C2, but I can... When I get over to Lawville, I can go to the Invictus, Invictus place and actually pick up one, rent one, because they're, they're in there at the moment for rent, for free. And I think you get it for three days, so you can rent it for a couple of days and earn some really nice money during Invictus, just with the rented shit that you rented for free. So this will take us down to the commons, where we should be able to buy this equipment. If it shows my ship is available, that is. I never even thought about that. So I've had to, I've got to remember where it is I've got to go. Presume I've got to either the admin office or planetary services. One of these ones. Is it here? There we are, audio visual equipment here. And we're gonna to go to the Freelancer Max. And we're gonna buy 52 of these for 1.29 million. So uh, not even enough to fill my ship at the moment. But we're gonna get 1.29 1 1 million, which is all my money, basically. So we're gonna buy that. And it's gonna be like 52. Except, and what are they gonna buy here? There's still hydrogen, so we can get hydrogen. Anything else here that we could maybe get rid of? Yeah, I've got one of these here, the rooster things, I'm sure I have. That's not here. So 50k unit. Yeah, I've got one of these for envelopes. It's over at... Um, it's over at my other spawn place. I'd have to bring it over next time. Or sell it over that place. So that's that now. So we've got no money left now. And we're going to just head back over to our ship now and go and head over to Lawville and go and sell this at the admin place in Lawville. So that basically, that landing strip basic, uh, is basically so you can get your vehicle out on this thing here. So you can get out your buggy here. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. So like, give me a grey cat there, I could get out. And then that would spawn in here. And then you just open the door over there and take it out to your ship. So if you didn't know about that, now you do. So 1.2 million worth of cargo, it's a lot of cargo. Powering down systems. Engines off. So where? What it tells me I'm trespassing or whatever. So we've got, I think, 50 units for 1.5, 1.3 million. Or 1.29, I think it was something like that. So it's still open, that hasn't closed it. Hasn't acknowledged I've landed. Is he shut down here? So select the max and see what we've got. So what we've had to do is we it wasn't it's not the business district you've got to go to. You've got to come to 
the um, habitation area, basically, Leverson Station um, um, area. So we've got to come over here to the admin office. This is where we're going to sell it. So here we are. We've got a couple of things here. So let's have a look what we've got here. So let's go to the Freelancer Max. And we should get it come up in the demand this time. There we are. So 52 units, very high inventory. And we're going to sell this one for 1.31 million. Processes. There we go. So we can come off here. Let's have a look at our mobile glass. So we've got 1.33 million now. So we made there, let me check, about 30,000 on that one. Here we are. So we'll have an A2, C2, the C2 being this one over here, the white one. And I think you've got an M2, which is a military one as well. So C2, let's rent that. It's free to rent. And that'll rent that for about three days, I think. And then when Invictus is on its last day, you can rent all of the ships again. So, and then you'll have it again for another few days, three days or something. So this whole Invictus event, you can um, just basically make, use, this, use the C2 for free and make some good cargo running. So when you see me next, I'll be heading back over to Lawville. Quickly check anywhere else what we've got around here. If there's anything else that I can pick up on the way, so we've got commodities or so helium on the stock at Larville. So we can pick some up around here. And some five seven. So I could pick up some of that and sell that over at Larville because I'm going to Larville anyway. Do that. Anything over here? Party favors. Stop. Souvenirs of stuff at Barville. Construction material, processed food, medical supplies, stocks. Okay. So I can get some helium over at one of. Um, Arcot Mining Area 157. Let me have a look at what we've got around here. It feels a lot better to fly than it used to. It used to be really cumbersome before now. It's actually not bad. Look at the sighting down here. Track landing gear. Already close. Deploy landing gear. Deploying landing gear. Oh, I'm going to crash this thing. Landing gear. Yeah. Oh, that was close. That was close. Very close. Oh, 
So he's definitely there here, because this has been cycled this side. So we're after helium here. Look around quick. Always have a look around, could be any boxes and that. Weapons and stuff like that. Staff lifter, C2. Once this comes up. Six hundred and ninety six that we can take. Zoom, that's helium. It's gonna cost us hundred and twenty we're gonna get hundred we're gonna buy it for hundred and twenty five point two and fill up this thing here. And let's head off. There we are. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. Unless we get shot now. Okay, so as you see here, as I passed there then, there was no cargo in the ship. Now, I didn't notice this at first, but during Invictus, we've been having issues, and you'll see further on in the video, that I ended up leaving here and what I should do is wait for the stock to show on the ship. But I didn't realise uh, at the time, I just got on with it and carried on. But we're currently having a bug where the stock's not showing on the ship. And you have to wait around for it to spawn on the ship. And once it spawns on the ship, then you can leave. And the same with the terminals when you get to the other end. You have to wait to shut for it to show on the terminals. So you'll see, I'm going to keep this bit in the video. And you'll see, when I get to the other end, my cargo is gone. And that is because I didn't sit around here and wait for the cargo to spawn in on the ship i should have been in the cargo bay waiting for it to spawn in and you'll see that Starting further in the video where i do that so i just thought i'd let you know that that bug is around uh so people that are losing the stock just make sure you check that the stock is actually loading in on your ship first track landing gear retracting landing gear veto affirmative Oh. Definitely like the new layout. It looks so much better. So much better. I said, "Head over to Larville in Hurston."
London. Contacting ATC. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Ciao. Affirm bay. At least they give me a big hanger this time. Gaming too fast there. So as you see here, when I slept my ship, there'll be no cargo on it now. And I didn't realize that the cargo hadn't spawned in it. It's only later on that I started realizing that. So I'm gonna lose that 125 grand or whatever we spent. That's gonna be gone. So I'm down to 1.2 million now. But the bug also does favor me in the end on this, you'll see in a minute. So the cargo has gone, I've lost 125 grand. So I ended up buying some souvenirs, I think it is, in a second. But then the game crashed on me, or something happened, and I come back in, and I ended up with back with 1.2 million and with 200 and something cargo on board as well. So I ended up making some money back because of the bug. So it is weird, but this is during Invictus at the moment, and so just be aware of this. So you'll see now, I'm going to pick some... Um, souvenirs or something and then um the and then the game ends up crashing on me so i'm going to pick the souvenirs here i'm going to fill up my ship and it's going to cost me 675 thousand and it and as i click this here it sort of gets caught up and doesn't complete so this processing order just takes a bit of time and you'll see I've pushed this on to where it, where, it, where I end up doing something else with it. So I pulled away from the terminal as you saw there while it was still doing it and you'll see I slept my ship, there's nothing in my ship and I've lost all the money I spent on it. So I'm down to 537,000 and the balance and I've got zero cargo basically. So I'm worried now well, what's going on. So what I'll do is I end up coming out of the server and going back into a different one. You see, I've lost all my money. So I come out of the server and back into another one and you'll sh I'll show you when I come back in. So here I am back in now. I, I swap servers and I come in. So I'm going to hit this commodity thing here and you see now I've got 1.2 million again with the money I had. So I'm going to go and buy this stock again and pleasant, pleasantly surprised that I've got 216 uh, souvenirs on board, which is weird. So that must have been loading in, but wasn't showing on the commodities board here but it must have been loading in my ship while I was messing around. So that's still there, and I've still got the 1.27 million, uh, 1.21 million. So a little bonus there, so it went in my favor, that, that bug. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carry on and I'm gonna buy the rest of the souvenirs, and then I'm gonna go and sell them over at uh, Lawville. Not Lawville, um, the space station above uh, Everest Harbor, I think it is. So let's grab them. Pay 465 for them. As you know, it was like 650-ish for a full load. And this time, the processing works and it, and, it, and it goes through. So it just shows, don't pull away from the from the thing, just wait for that to come up like that. And then you'll see when I get into my ship, uh, what happens there. So I'm gonna head there now. So here I am opening my ship and you'll see as I start going into the ship that the cargo isn't fully there. And this is where I started realizing that I had to be around the ship and wait for the cargo to load in. So as you see, as I start coming in, I start you start seeing the cargo start, start loading in basically. So I'm gonna close these doors.
and then you'll see as I go around all this cargo starts that starts, starts loading in itself. And so I just stand here and watch it load in. And this is why people are not got cargo when they when they take off. Um, basically, they haven't given enough time for this cargo to load in with this whatever's going on with this delays on the server, and they just haven't given enough time for this to happen, which is what happened when I left that station earlier on. Basically, I didn't give it enough time to do this. So that's the cargo loaded. I can now go upstairs and um, set off to the next place. That's what I'll do. So here we are, finally, after messing around, I had no helmet and died. So I had to go and get another ship from Horizon and come back. Here we are, Let's see what we got. So I think I paid 960 for it, or 990, I'll, I'll, I'll overdub the thing in the end. Let's see what we got. Oh, so I paid 675 and I'm going to sell it for 725. So I'm going to make 50 grand from this, just one run from the planet up to the space station, which isn't too bad. And so once I sell this, uh, we'll see what I made and did I make my 125 grand back from what I lost by not having the cargo on the first one because I think I had 1.3 at that point and then I lost that dinner and I had 1.2 something so I'm going to sell this now and um, see what we've got let that processing order thing happen that was quick enough and we uh, see what we've got money wise I made uh, about 50,000 there on that. I bought it for 625, um, uh, no, 675 I bought it for and sold it for 725. So I made 50 grand on that Everything just from going from the planet nice. to the space station. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back down there now, buy it again and see what we got. Actually, let me see if they do party favors up here and how much they sell for. So what I've done is I've decided to go over to the Art Corp area, not sorry, the Art Corp area, the um, um, Item Moon, where I was going to pick up some helium, I think it is, as, as part of this, of this mission I'm doing. So I'm just going to head over here now to this, I think it's Radar, that, or Radar that I'm at, one of these places, these little outposts. So I'm going to land here and just go inside and basically pick up some supplies here. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm here to pick up some helium and you'll see as I am here that there is 28,000 uh, units of barrel. Now I did notice this, I did take note of this because I know beryl is quite an expen um, quite a good commodity to run and with 28,000 units here I thought well I can uh, have a look at that later on but that's not what I'm here for at this moment. I did in the end come and do a run afterwards and grab some beryl and I'd actually made a dedicated video which I released a couple of days back um, doing this and, and this was because I'd done this video that I'm currently working on beforehand and saw that the barrel was here so i did the video on grabbing that barrel on a separate video that it needed to be so this is basically me just grabbing the the, the supplies for the invictus stuff and just the commodity stuff rather than the money making barrel at this time but i did take note of it and um so this is where i got the idea afterwards to come and grab this barrel after it's uh it's just whatever i'm on it's just terrible like the do it's just not showing the ship and cargo to buy and
landing. Complete. Engines off. So you'll see here when I come to sell it, again the same thing happens, that all the cargo isn't showing on the the, the monitor. Um, you'll see this, so there's three, two, 638 out of 696. I did get a full load, but for some reason it's only showing 638. So I end up selling this because I didn't even realize that there was some missing. And it sells for 140. And then I realized afterwards, and, and some more, and some more, as the, the terminal seems to update itself, some more cargo seems to show up. So I sell this for 140, which is 15 grand profit. And then in a second, once this is done processing, um, I'm gonna fast forward this, you'll see the rest of the stock. So you'll see that I pull back from this and then go back on, and this time it shows all the cargo. So I've got 1.34 million, 3.46 million. And this now you'll see it shows all the cargo, 696. So I'm gonna sell all of this, 696 here. And I'm gonna sell this for 153 and I do that. But the terminals seem to mess up. It sells that and then there's another 58 there to sell for another 12 grand. So I don't even know what I make off this one. I think it's over 25 grand, could be even 50 grand. I'll go back and check the numbers. So I started off with 147, I've got 149. So I made about 20 grand, maybe 29 grand from that, from the helium. So next I'm gonna look at, I think party favors is the next thing I'm gonna look at. So I'm gonna get as many party of these party favors as I can. And, um, and then I'm gonna head down up, up to the space station with them as well. So it's gonna cost me 877,000 to buy this and then um, we'll sell it from there. So I'll buy the party favors for 877. see what we get for that. Let's accept that and let's have a look at this new price commodity thing. So basically what I did is I hired a C2 for free in the event and now I'm filling it with like things like party party um, party favors and and uh, sou souvenirs and TV equipment and all that stuff just seeing what's what gives you the best 
best um, cargo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's this video is going to be painful. So basically, there is um, the TV and the audio equipment is over at Microtech, the overstock. Uh, but for 50 units, costs you 1.4 million, and you only make about 50 grand from the profit, and you sell that over at Lawville. So it's too big of a risk, I think. That the um, So you can see here guys just how long it's taking for this cargo to, to fully stock inside the ship. And this is why people are having issues at the moment where they land and say that the cargo is no longer there available. It's, this is the reason why, it's because because you may not have waited long enough for this to happen with these janky servers going on at the moment in Victus. This is, this is what's happening and if you don't catch this and wait for all this cargo to load in, then you're probably not going to have no cargo when you go to sell it later on. Full. Please hold for assignment. See what we get for this. Not demand. So what I've had to do guys is head over to the Art Corp area to sell these party favours. And I've got to go over to the North Tower. So you don't go to the TDD to sell these. Uh, you've got to head over to the North Tower, which is over the other side there. And there's some like units here that you can sell the stuff at here. 
So let's go and sell these and see what we get from. And uh, we'll count the money from there. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. 696. We sell 696 for, for 995.2, which means we made about 120,000 ish, something like that, on that. It's still a good run, but it meant we had to go on a 10 minute journey over to Art Corp from the Hurston area. But still, we made 120 grand from that one. So that was a good, that one's a good one. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm probably going to head over and grab the barrel and show you me grabbing the barrel for the first time and just what happens with the terminals when I did grab that and the messing up that that did. So here I am at Shubin's Mining Facility SAL5, which is over in the Art Corp area. This one doesn't have the 30,000 stock. There's about four places that have 30,000 stock and that is in two places in Microtech, two places in Hurston, and then there's a couple that have 5,000 and a couple that have a 3,000 and, and 800s and stuff like that. So this one doesn't have a full stock as you as you see here. There's only 121 barrel here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this play through just so you can see how long it takes for this stock to restock. Because some people have said to me that the stock is low in places. Obviously this isn't a 30,000 place, this is only, a, I think, an 800 or something like that type of place. And you'll see the stock as it goes up. So what I'll do is I'll also grab some diamonds and then I'll show you what I've basically got at the end and what happens at the terminals and where I lose like 300k of my own money plus some uh, 127 units of stock because of this whole bug that's going on at the moment. So I'm going to let this play through where you see basically me go back to my ship watch it spawn in, come back, and then see how much is available from there. I'll do that once just so you can see it and then see how long it takes for the cargo to run in. And then then you know then basically the, the length of wait for when, if you do come to a place like this and whether it's worth you waiting around. Because I don't think it takes too long, probably about 10 minutes altogether to fully fill the ship again um, at this place. So I'll let that, I'll just let this play through. I don't know it's long, but it just shows you the length of weight that you, you're expecting here.
So here I am back at the terminal, five minutes it's been, and you see the 244 barrel just rocks up and another 17 diamonds. So you can see the extent of the refresh rate here, five minutes for 200 and something. I ship that on the old 700, you're talking three or four weights, so 15 minutes tops probably to wait um, for, for, the, for that much barrel to fill your ship. So that's not too bad of, of, a, of a weight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna show you, jump this to the end where I have all the cargo, so you can see I've all the cargo that I've got, and then I will uh, jump and show you the selling it. So here we go. And you'll see now another 200 and something cargo, but I'm not gonna be able to get all that because I haven't got the money, so I'm only gonna pick up 80. So that leaves another 100 nod for whoever's behind me. They can take that with the diamond. But you'll see the, uh, that I've got uh, 566 barrel and 84 diamonds. So when I jump to the space station and sell it, again, at this point, I knew about the cargo having to load into the ship itself, but I didn't know that you had to wait for the cargo to show at the terminal. And I didn't realize this, and I ended up selling some of the cargo, which then ended up making me lose money because then the cargo didn't really show up. So I'll jump to that and you can see it. So here I am at Area 18, CDD, and I'm gonna come in now and sell this. But like I said, at the time, I didn't realize that the cargo wasn't wasn't um, all showing. And when I sold it, I didn't realize at the time I ended up selling it and ended up with less, I ended up with 300,000 less than I started with. So I lost 300,000 and the and 127 units of cargo. So you see there, there's only four, four, four five and 34 diamond. Didn't even, didn't even notice it, I just sold it. And I think that stopped it then from respawning in. So I'm gonna sell that. And you'll see I ended up with 300,000 less. But I'm leaving this in just to show you guys that you're not the only ones having these issues. I'm also having these issues, but I have figured out that you can just wait and then the stock will show. Like, so it's 455 five barrel there. And I'm gonna sell that, but it should have been 566. Six. So I'm losing about 120 there a barrel and I think I lost about 50 diamond. I don't know whether it's because I didn't wait long enough at the other place or whether I didn't wait long enough to sell it here at this terminal. But either which way, I ended up losing a lot of money over it. But that's just a bug and there's nothing I can do about that. I then went on and did another full run and earned another 300,000. So I soon made my money back up within not, within not long. So. So I'm gonna to jump to this to, to the next part and then we'll go from there. So here I am back at the shoe bin mining facility again. And this time I'm gonna go and try and fill up the cargo with just barrel this time. And you see there that the barrel's out of stock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hang around for a bit and fill my ship. I'll jump to where my ship's full and um, we'll go from there. So here I am picking up the last load now. There's 238. I've only got 400,000, so I'm not going to be able to get it all. 200 is all I'm going to be able to buy. But that's going to put me at about 500 and something. So 590, um, and I've got no money left. So I'm going to jump out of here and head back over to the TDD and sell this. So I've got 590 units. So here I am back at Art Corp. I'm going to head over to the TDD. And this is where you'll see the error come up where it doesn't show me having any cargo and then it just incrementally starts updating it. And so again, just making sure that it should check at this moment in time that all your cargo is there before you start selling it. If not, just wait like you'll see me do here. And I thought I'll leave a lot of this in because the last video I put out with the barrel run, a lot of people was telling me that the, the cargo is bugged and people are losing it. A lot of people are losing it to 30Ks. I never had that issue with a 30k but I did have this issue where the boxes wasn't showing and this could just be what is happening to people where they think that they're losing the cargo and it could just be something as simple as this so I'm just going to give it a little bit of time and then and then see if that fixes it so there we are, now we've got it there, and you'll see as I click this, this shows zero cargo on it. Once it updates it.
I'm just having a quick look at what they sell. Or what they buy from you. And as you see there, it's showing 194 barrel. And I know I had over 500 barrel. So it's only showing 194. So I'm like, well, what's going on here then? Why is it only showing this much? And um, so I'm confused. And then I start realizing about the issue that the, it's not just about the cargo itself not showing in the grid, but actually this as well. So I'll come out of here, out of this screen and then jump back into it and see as it goes up again. So I'm just at this point wondering what's going on with this and why we are not getting the the numbers. I'm leaving it all in so exactly as I left it. So I don't want you to think it was edited in any way and that uh, I'm, just, uh, you know, I'm just trying to skirt around the issue. The issue is here and I want to show you guys how I got, how I got around it and what I had to do. Dreaming. Yeah, party favors. Um, yeah. I went back to. Um, are you streaming now? Are you streaming? Let's have a look. Is going on with this thing in game. Five hundred and ninety barrel again. Went back to that plate, spot five hundred and ninety barrel again. Waited around, see it all spawn in, come back to the terminal and it's not
And as you see, each time I've gone into it, um, the cargo has gone up. So it's just a matter of keep doing that. And then what I'll do here is basically, I just make sure there was no more because I couldn't remember how, how much I had exactly. And then I'll just sell it from there. So here you see me sell this 570. I did buy 590, but I don't think I waited long enough for all of that to spawn on the ship, as far as I know. So I do lose 20 units of cargo there. So um, yeah, that that is a big, you know, it's a big problem at the moment. Definitely take uh, cargo running in in um, with extreme caution at this moment in time, as the Invictus finishes this should start calming down. But it's just showing you alternate cargo running other than vice, you know, it's not all about just getting the drugs and selling the drugs and making massive profits. So you can see here, there's been times where I've made um, some decent money. I can make 200, 150,000 on the party stuff and uh, on the uh, party favors, 50 grand here and there on the other stuff. And then obviously the barrel as well. But obviously you need a big ship. The Caterpillar will be a good ship as well. That should come around at some point, I think, during this event. I think there is a Drake section, uh, sex section coming at some point, the defense one, I think it's called. Hopefully they, they have a Caterpillar in that. But this just shows other runs, and you can make some good runs, especially like with the Beryl. You could probably still make about 80,000 with Beryl in something like Max. So um, there is uh, options for lower, lower cargo quantities as well. So yeah, so I thought I'd throw all of this video in and just show you guys other stuff um, that I was asked to do and shows also some of the highlights, some of the problems that we've been having with the cargo. And this might help some people uh, seeing it for themselves on the video, uh, what's been going on. And so yeah, so we hope you like this video, guys. If you did like this video, don't forget to hit that point and tickle the like button and don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them. And sorry about the spiel at the beginning. I needed to put that out there. So yeah, so hope, we hope you like this one, guys, and um, we'll see you guys out in the verse.